is about Comelec. The poll body will release a resolution that will regulate a candidate's usage of social media in next year's midterm elections. Comelec Chairman George Garcia seeks to monitor the expenses used in social media. Unlike in traditional media like TV and newspapers, expenses in social media are not monitored and capped. Aside from this, Comelec will also ban the use of artificial intelligence and deepfake in campaigns. So, uh, yun. Okay. That's good because uh, a lot of candidates are transitioning into social, social media. media. And uh, the amount of money, kunyari you cut off, for example, one Can million. Paano mo, the amount of money that they spend, I've, I've heard some candidates, some are friends, some are not, how much they spend on social media, malalaki. Oh, oh, and yung oh. impact of that amount that they have on social media is also big. Because cheaper ang, uh, ang pag-boost uh, sa social media than uh, advertising on print and TV. Mm -hmm. so but how would you do this? If they want to regulate that, yun nga, kakailanganin talaga ng batas. I mean, how would diba? you do this? Because technically... Tapos, technically, napaka-general no, ng ano niyan. Eh. Paano mo hahawakan yun yun eh? No, and Facebook is not a physical entity. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it exists on cyberspace. Mm -hmm. diba? So what laws are covered by this? But we'd like to see ano yung mga thoughts sana in the future about this with the... Uh, oh. Okay, so at least to get more uh, information about this, diba? we have uh, with us uh, right now... Ah, okay, sige. Hmm. Ano yung pala? Meron palang sinasabi sa atin si... Uh, George uh, si, Garcia. Uh, George Chairman Garcia George Garcia. Regarding this. Ang problem po talaga natin yung uh, misinformation, disinformation, and fake news directed against a candidate directed against a uh, political party. Napakahirap po dyan, lalo pat may presence ng trolls. Sa pagkandidato, bawal ang misrepresentation. Sa pagkandidato, ikaw yan, ikaw mismo. Yun talaga yung nakakabahala, yung deepfakes, di ba? Na, na, uh, ngayon, witness na rin tayo dyan sa iba't ibang mga deepfakes sa lumalabas. May it be uh, for political use, yes. uh, medical use, Pero kasama have, na rin. We have to carefully define uh, AI and separate it from deepfakes. Oh, Because oh. there are AI uh, apps already that AI are integrated generated. into editing apps yeah. that mm -hmm. helps editors edit. Ikaw naman ang mag-i-input ng info eh. But AI ang nang edit siya ng ganun. So baka you, you allow that, but you don't allow deepfake. Yun nga eh, sinasabi nila. Yung deepfake na may kaakibat na mis and disinformation. Correct. Kasi Edry, tsaka oh. yung, yun nga yung fake news. Yun talaga yung kinokomba dahil ang dami talaga, eh, laganap talaga ngayon yung mga fake news. And as, ang ibang mga kababayan natin, pag nakita sa, sa social media, sa Facebook, sa Instagram, They, sa TikTok. We easily believe what's posted there. Oh, kala nila gospel truth truth na, di ba? So, yun, maigi talaga. Pero yun nga, ang tanong dyan, kailangan gumawa ng Congress ng batas when it comes to yung spending nga, yeah. uh, spending uh, gamit ang social media. Because a lot of candidates ngayon gumagamit or kahit naman saan eh, di ba? Gumagamit ng mga influencers, mm. mga brand ambassadors yeah. para Kaya sa nga, kanilang campaign. Lastly, before we move on, just to, so, to uh, give an example about the impact of uh, deepfake. For example, sa TikTok, an average influencer will have about a million to about 1.5 million views. Sabihin mo na nag-deepfake ka, sa 1 million yan, nakapanood 1.5 million. Kaagad mo ba ma-retract at sasabihin mo deepfake yan? Siguro ma-retract mo 10% of that. You still have over a million people who've already watched the video na may nakwento or na-share, nakausap na ang ibang tao about yung napanood nila. So, kumalat na yung balita. And that's, sometimes they don't really watch yes, the whole thing. That's critical in an election because it could... Uh, spell the difference between uh, winning or losing between good and bad candidates. Oh. Kaya nga sabi nila, baka daw mas bumaba yung bilang ng mga tarpaulin na makikita natin. Oh, may, kasi ang tar Maganda sa environment, pero kasi, kasi ang, ang, tarpaulin. ang tarpaulin sa TikTok, at saka sa Instagram, at saka sa Doon Facebook. Na eh, na okay.